we need a uh, at least one to two pound ground beef. It doesn't matter and eighty percent of lean or seventy five percent or ninety percent of me a lean. It doesn't matter. And we need the beef. We need the uh, water chestnut, uh, chop uh, scallion, ginger, and uh, some uh, bread. Any bread is okay, but not dry one. And uh, two eggs and uh, potato starch uh, and we also have used the uh, the, uh, the pea shoots pea shoots sound very fresh because it's good and if you don't have pea shoots you can use, you can use the bok, bok choy or the napa cabbage napa cabbage just get the inside part because it's very juicy and tender mm, now we start um, process our ingredients. This is the most most ingredients. This is the ginger we already washed it and uh, we don't need a lot of ginger we don't need a lot of gingers. We just cut some and uh, you cut the rest of the gingers and uh, and uh, chop them to small pieces because if you cook uh, Chinese food it's always need a ginger especially cook the meat. So you can chop them and put it in a small zip a ziplock bag and put it in the freezer. When you use it, you can get it out. So this is how much ginger we will need for the our fried lion head. Mm. So we just put the rest away. So what do we do? we do like this? We just cut it like this. Okay. Try to be small pieces. If you can't, you can uh, chop them later. Just now, we just cut it. Okay, this is the meat. We just put the meat into the pot. The meat must uh, be thawed uh, totally and to not, uh, not frozen. Right now, we add the ginger, we cut the ginger, we add it to it. Ginger to it. We add a ginger, the little way. Now we deal with it's a bread. We get a bread. Any bread is okay. Uh, whole wheat bread, any wet bread. We just want some fresh bread, still soft, not too dry, you see. You stick, still push it, it still can, it can go down, fresh. So what do we do? We cut it. Yeah, we just cut it through. I think to these small pieces, okay. And uh, now we put it in, uh, put it uh, those bread into the meat.
This is the water chestnut you can buy from store any water chestnut. We buy it, we still need to um, to process it. Yeah, and it's a water candle or any candle with water chestnut. This is sliced one, it's okay. If not sliced one, it's also it's also okay. We just need to get uh, probably I think uh, probably half can of those. We need don't need uh, this this much of the water chestnut. Not too much. Okay. We just half can of water chestnut nuts. We get this in. Here are some places they don't you if you can't find a water chestnut you can use the uh it's a low low curse I think it's a kind of water lilies root. It's also good it can you can cut it like this and to small pieces and add it to your your ground beef. So that's what we're doing. So we add it to the to the meat. Okay, we're gonna mix this. Stop talking. Okay, let me cut it. What's that? What is it? What a chestnut. What? Bala, what is that, Bala? What a chestnut. What is that? What a chestnut. Chestnut. I don't want crab. Sorry, that's all heavy for dinner. This could be on your plate. But it tastes so yummy. I hope it not be egg crab. Now we have the ground beef and uh, fresh bread and a water chestnut and a ginger. Now we add the scallion. Scallion is the thing that's a scallion to it. We add uh, two eggs, two whole eggs. Mix a little. I keep some salt. I add some. No. Some. Certain spices. Add a one tablespoon soy sauce. One tablespoon soy sauce and the chicken soup based mixture. Flavor soup in it. Add a pinch, just a pinch, not too much to it. Now we just uh, mix it. Make it. Use a chopstick or use something to you mix it first. And later we use a hand no, to mix it. You're going to do dead. Later we use a hand to mix it. Because you cook. Because you are a cook. Ew, the food smells so good eating like rats. A of oil. You can add as a, we add as a olive uh, oil. You can add any vegetable it's oil. It's okay. It's up the to barbecue, you. You need to be the hot. vegetable oil. Mm -hmm. right. Put it in spray too. I could grab one. Two. Now we keep mixing. I smell even more good than I first mix. One direction to to mix it. When the meat become very sticky. Table, uh, so table, uh, potato starch. Now we keep mixing.
in the one direction to make it see. You feel right now you can feel uh, the meat is kind of have uh, the strength. The meat become have strength. That's the trick, uh, the part. Here you see it have stick, stick it together and it have more. You can feel it's become we. You need more strength to make it. At the beginning it's easy, but when hard it's need more strength. Now when it's uh, like this, and what do we do? When this, we need to use a hand because it's hard yeah. with chopstick to do it. So then we use a hand. So we try to make uh, the meat yeah. to, to cut it like a dough. And and we will, what do we do this? We just lift the dough and hit it on the pot to Why? do this. Okay. So why do you hit the dough on the pot? Just do this. Come here. Like this. And keep repeating doing this. At the meat, you see it's a steak and uh, it's just don't fall apart. That means it's, uh, this is ready. So, so we are done. Just okay. So it's ready. So we can use it. The stove and the fair to the medium. Medium. And put a pot on. We'll add a lot of cooking oil to fry the to fry the super big meatball. So we just get oil. We just rinse in the pot. We can make our meatball. So the meatball is just probably our fist big. The meatball. So we get our meat. Then we. Like this, to make it like this, you just uh, roll a ball because right now the meat is very tight, so it's easy to form a shape. So make the meatball just our fake bay. You can make a little bigger, but uh, at least our cut face the big size big like this. So we form a meatball and we just put it into the oil to fry it. We put a little piece of pea shoot into it if it start frying. Oh, we thought, we made, if it start frying, made the oil ready. But then we added the meatball to it. So remember, don't touch it until the one side is uh, become hot. Now we make full meatball one time, and uh, after the full is uh, all formed, so I will make more. You know, when the, when the butter is hard like this, then we turn it over to keep frying. This is the first meatball we put in. And turn this one over. Don't burn the meatball. Make all the meatballs just like this. It's a crispy out. Crispy, the country even though it is kind of a harder shape. So right now we do this to make the middle ball uh, to let it uh, a former shape, not to fall apart. When after the next processing, we don't want it to middle fall apart. This is just let me middle fall a shape. That's in your man. So you this middle ball won't uh, if you fry it. I don't think the inside it will be cooked. So this process. Just want to make a make the meatball have a full shape. So this one is ready. When this one become, you can see, become golden brown like this golden brown. So then what do you do? And uh, drain the meatball and uh, drain the meatball, drain the oil. The meatball the fork is already done. So those four meter bars are already done, just so we take it out of the drain the oil. 
right now you can see what it's in there. That's it's an easy tool. Just be careful, don't break the meter bar. Here's the stove. And uh, put the body and uh, we added the water to it. And the water to it. it just, uh, I think it's uh, you added enough water, just this much water. I think I just added this part of water. Now you boil the water. If you have a uh, chicken broth, add chicken broth to boil. Because we, I didn't have chicken broth, so I just add water. When the water is boiling, add some salt. I think uh, this is close to the. Depending on the water, you how much water you add. Don't add too much water. We add a little salt. I think probably one teaspoon, one teaspoon of salt. Add one. Tablespoon soy sauce, and this is a uh, cooking oil, cooking wine, and uh, this is a cooking wine. Yeah, you can buy different kind of cooking wine. Any brand is okay. And one tablespoon cooking wine because we didn't have the chicken broth, so we added the chicken flavor soup based mixture. We add a. Uh, A pinch. Then we try it. The flavor is good. Add a meatball to the, the water. To, the, to this water. And it cover it. Cook it. When it's boiling, cook it for when it's boiling. Cook it for thirty minutes. When the when it's boiling, and cook it for thirty minutes. And you need to watch it. When the at the beginning you will turn the stove to to the big fair, like the body. When you start the body, and then turn to the medium fair. Now we make a kind of like a sauce, and this we add it to the meatball and make the meatball uh, the liquid become very more thicker and uh, transparent. So we use the potato starch. We get a one teaspoon potato starch and add a one uh, one fourth cup water, tap water, cold tap water, and mix it. Thirty minutes. We check the meatball to see if the meat is cooked or not. We get a meatball out. Then we try to cut it. To two piece to see the inside part. Cut it to see the inside part. You can see the inside right now is no red or pink. No red or pink that means it's cooked. So so now we turn the turn the Stove to the high, to the height. When we added our uh, pea shoots to it, we can make so I pea shoots and boiling in this. Put the pea shoots and put it into it. Put the pea shoots and uh, and cook it one minute, thirty seconds to one minute. Now we added uh, this 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 sauce. We make it just a starch in the water. Then we add slowly to it. Now we add it to it. Then we. Mix it. Right now you see the liquid become become thicker. See, you can see it become thicker and, uh, and transparent. We just let it boil. After when this boiling, turn off the the stove. You can put it in a beautiful china pot and serve this. 
Place the meat ball in the pot. You can serve this meat ball to the family and the people guests. And uh, it is really good. And they call it Hong Shao Shi Zi Tao in China. And I give the English name. It's Fried Lion Head. Super meatball.